happens tonight. A local family shelter in need of more employees. The Family Abuse Center in Waco has been helping women and families for three decades, but now they need the community's help to try and fill positions because they are spreading themselves thin. Fox 44's Renee Summerhour joins us live in the studio. Now, Renee, is the shelter in danger of closing? Leslie Robert, the shelter is not in danger of closing, but as you said, they are being stretched pretty thin. As you can imagine, everyone from the director to the front desk are all splitting up hours to cover overnight shifts and weekends. Family Abuse Center. Domestic violence victims, human trafficking victims, and anyone who needs a safe haven relies on the Family Abuse Center of Waco. We have about 37 women and children living in the shelter, and so they have needs, and we need to have staff that can provide uh, what what they need 24 hours a day. But with the economy getting better, staffers are finding it harder to fill in part-time, weekend, and overnight positions. We get uh, phone calls at night. We get them throughout the day and on the weekends. And uh, the police often roll up on the weekend with victims that they bring here to the shelter. And so someone's got to open the door and greet them. With 30 plus years of serving local families, they now need the community's help. We still serve over 500 victims uh, and their ch 500 victims that includes children um, a year. Uh, we just need some more employees, and so we're looking for people to look at those jobs. Jobs which include working the command center, keeping watch, and ready to help no matter what time. Anyone that has any kind of a background can make that into a service, actually. It's a good job for a student um, or a, someone who only can work part-time. Domestic violence happens 24-7 and a lot of times at night. Uh, so being able to be there, um, answer the phone, answer the hotline, be there in the shelter, be a, a welcoming face whenever someone's coming out of the darkness makes a huge difference. Now, Kathy also tells me they're looking for people that can help with their thrift store, which is also seeing a decline in employment. I'll have more on that tonight at 930 in the studio. Renee Summer Hour, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you, Renee. And we wanted to take a closer look at how tight resources are for Texas domestic violence victims. The Texas Council on Family Violence reports 39% of requests for shelter from an abusive relationship are turned down due to lack of resources. In 2011, there was a 21% turnaway rate, and it's been increasing over the years. In 2016, 12,693 requests for shelter went unmet. In 2015, McLennan County law enforcement agencies responded to more more than 2,000 family violence calls. Waco police responded to about 1,300 calls. The sheriff's office responded to almost 250, and Bellmead police responded to around 150 calls. In Bell County, there were more than three thousand calls, nearly 1400 more than in McLennan County. Colleen police alone went to more than 2000 calls. Temple officers responded to more than 600 and Belton responded to nearly 200 family violence calls.